Hello, in this video I'll show you how to split one PDF file into several files, which is pages, right? To split all the pages into separate files. And also how to take those pages and put them into one single file. So quite a simple arrangement. I was requested to do this uh, kind of an arrangement. Uh, uh, but basically this is what I'm going to show you and if you want to learn how to generate a PDF uh, uh, file in C Sharp take a look at my other video where I show you how to use this PDF Sharp library this is what we are going to use it's kind of tricky but it is all worth it uh, now this is the example right here we have a test PDF file it has uh, four pages in it and as you can see we go from file 0 to file 3 it's uh, split and generated and and uh, uh, saved into here and we see these uh, result files right here and then we have full file which is basically file 1 and file 2 merged together into one or two uh, pages created from those files and then saved into the full file uh, let's take a look at how it happens it is all relatively straightforward uh, now we start with a pdf document we call it full doc you can call it wherever you want doesn't really matter right and then we use something called pdf reader okay pdf reader now if the library itself doesn't work you need to use this register provider I explain everything in my previous video on how to use this and how to generate uh, your custom pdf files and all that but for reading them you use pdf reader the use open and then you provide the path now the path could be picked in wpf for example right uh, it could come from all kinds of different places and then we use mode import we use mode import and then at that point we have a full document so this is the one that has uh, all those different pages and then they will become files right different files so, and for that we simply use a for loop so basically what you have to do you just have to loop through all those pages and each page has to be made into basically a new document this is what we do right here we establish a new pdf document right and at that point it's an empty pdf document so we have to add a page we add a page right here from the full doc you see we provide the index by the loop according to the loop uh, on every cycle we add different page and we establish new document and then after that we just save the document with a new file name and as you can see i'm just doing something very very simple but you could uh, switch around the directories and do all that stuff but again there's no real magical way to do it you just have to loop through pages and take one page at a time create new document and save it and that's all you have to do now then as for merging them together, there are some fancier ways than what I'm going to show you right here and right now. You can merge them and maybe fit two pages into one or do something like that. But this is basically just adding pages into one document or several documents adding into one, right? So first of all, you need to have those documents selected. Now, this could come from a WPF file picker. This is probably one of the best examples I can think of. And if you want to learn WPF, you can take a look at my WPF book as well as my WPF course. I show you how to pick files. I'll show you the basics, the buttons, the inputs, um, and then the all the structures, all the different ways to uh, use these events and basically everything you need to know about WPF. So the book is based on the course and the course is based on the book. They kind of go along together really well. The links are in the description. Now then, we have files to add right here. So this is basically a list of directories. That is what we have. So we have file one and file two. Now this could be selected as I mentioned previously, and you would have those uh, strings laying around in some list, but the most important thing is having a list of those strings. And then we create a new document into which we will merge all those other documents, right? All those other pages. Now this, particular application uh, requires you to have one page per each file but you could adjust that and I'll show you how so we have a for loop right and we have files to add so we have two files to add we'll loop through that and uh, as you can see in the new document it will simply add the page 
it will add the page and for that it will use the PDF reader. It will open that specific file and then it will select the page at zero index. Now, if you had more than one page, you could loop through these pages, right? You could loop through these pages right here and simply add them in this one cycle, right? You add uh, the, uh, the pages of one document in this cycle and then you move on to another cycle, add the pages of another document. And once you're done, you refer to this merge doc, right? PDF document and then you simply save it and you have your merged uh, uh, file. So this is how you split it up. This is how you save it. I do hope this was um, somewhat helpful and if you have some video requests, uh, put them in comments. I'll try to accommodate them. Also on Patreon, uh, you can get several of my courses for free. You can pick and choose them and you'll get several for free. And there is a tier where you can request a very specific video of me and uh, I will definitely do it for you. So do check all that out, do subscribe to this channel and with that we will conclude this video.